Hello everyone. Today I am going to be calling the SBA to check the status of my reconsideration. And at the end of this video, I will be showing you what I sent to the SBA to be reconsidered for the IDLE loan. If this is the first time you're tuning into my channel, my name is Shawan Burns. Please click that like button and that subscribe button. So let's call the SBA. The SBA number is 1-800-659-2955. Welcome to the U.S. Small Business Administration Disaster Assistance Customer Service Center. And your wait time may be longer than normal. You are caller number 595. Your expected wait time is 28 minutes. I was trying to check the status of my reconsideration application. All right. I, you need to be quiet. I can't hear. I'm sorry. What did you say? All right. Let me get, yes, ma'am. Let me get your name, please. My name is Shawan, C-H-A-W-A-N-N-E. And your last name? Was that your last name? No, my last name is B-U-R-N-S. All right, and do you have that application number? Yes, it is 3-3-0-0-0. If you will hold one moment, let me pull that application up. Please hold. Thank you. Hello. Can I confirm that uh, application number again, please? Yes, it's 33. Oh, let me just pull it up again. 3300. All right. So I do have uh, Burns Investment Inc., is that correct? That is correct. All right. I do, ma'am, need what? to just bring with the owner of the business. Uh, so could you please provide me with the last four digits of your social security number? All right, thank you. Um, Ma'am, uh, let me just check if there are any notes here. There are no notes here concerning your reconsideration. Um, however, ma'am, once that process should uh, be completed, you would receive notification via email. Okay, so what's that process look like? Um, um, what, I mean, there is no set time frame with regard to that, ma'am. Uh, they would be looking at the additional information that you provided and, um, and then reassessing the application based upon that. But you don't know what the turnaround time is? Like, how long would it take? No, That's no, you know, I don't understand why y'all can't give me that. It's like really ridiculous. There's no established timeline, ma'am. And so each application is different. I, I don't know the contents of your application or the additional information that you provided. Um, but once they did complete that process, you would be notified by email. Okay. Is there a tier two representative that I could talk to? I am a tier two representative, ma'am. Okay. Well, only reason why I'm asking, because I, I noticed on the, I uh, listened to the hearing yesterday and Jovita Carranza said that they are able to give us a time frame. Or if we call you guys, you sh you should be able to give us a time frame when the applications should be processed. Um, there is no established timeline with regard to any stage of the process at this point, ma'am. Yeah. Well, that's your boss words. It's not my words. So I don't understand okay. why we can't no, get... That's not it's not being communicated to us. Okay. All right. Well, so I'll just keep on calling in <laughs> till I hear something. All right. You have a great day. All right. You too, man. Bye. Bye. So you see, you call. We don't know the timeline. But on yesterday's hearing, they said uh, Jovita, Jovita Carranza specifically said they should be able to call we should be able to call that 1-800 number and check the status of our application. But you can't check the status. Can we come? What, I, don't, I don't understand. Why can't we check the status of our application? So once again, I'm in, we're going to be waiting for two to three months just to get an answer. It doesn't make any sense. I don't go to my computer and I can show you how I put my application together for a reconsideration in the information that I sent to the SBA. As you can see, I have four documents attached to this email.
and the SBA Reconsideration Department is PDCRECONS at SBA.gov. And please don't type dot gov dot. You got to remove that because it will not go through. And in the body of the email, I am basically saying thank you for allowing me the opportunity for reconsideration for the SBA Economic Disaster Loan. And attach, you will find documents that I would like for you to review when reconsidering my application. And I note my application number. So there were four documents that I compiled to send with my reconsideration letter. The first two are the 2018 and 2019 profit and loss statement for my business my loan reconsideration letter, and also my most current credit report. So in my reconsideration letter, I address the issue or the reason I was denied. I address the negative credit items that were on my report, and I also gave them a business background statement. In this business background statement, I just told them how long I've been in business, the impact of the coronavirus, how many minority business owners are in my area, which is very few, it's about 0.5% women minority business owned in my area, and stress how the community looks up to me and I have a reputation in the community. So the next section, I presented the business finance statement. And this is the personal finance statement for my business. I put out three different scenarios for the loan amounts and my affordability statement. So I put that on a, an Excel spreadsheet or a table, if you will, and put that in this reconsideration letter. And basically, the different scenarios, it shows what I made in 2019 versus now, what I project to make, my cost of goods sold, and my fixed and variable expenses, and what, if I get the different loan amounts, what would I have left over to pay the note. And I made three separate tables for three different loan amounts. So at the end of the letter, I just stress thank you for allowing me to apply for reconsideration. Now, let me know if you would like to see a copy of this reconsideration letter. I could send one to you. And I am sending all my good to you. I will talk to you soon.